One of the things we know about cancer cells is uh, we can damage their DNA when um, the cancer cells are rapidly dividing. We can damage their DNA and keep them from continuing to grow, often by using radiation therapy. All radiation therapy is is delivering a higher than normal dose of radiation to an area of the body. Sort of like taking an x-ray, only leaving the machine on for a little bit longer. Um, the uh, sessions for radiation therapy are performed in a uh, special department called the radiation therapy department using a uh, specialized machinery that's prepared for each individual patient to direct the radiation therapy beam to the area where the tumor is. Um, usually the patient goes in um, every day, five days a week, is um, aligned on the machine so that the uh, beam of the radiation is directed um, very carefully to the area of, uh, where, of concern where the tumor is and it really only takes a few minutes to deliver the radiation to that area. Most of the time it takes about half an hour to an hour to have a session of radiation therapy but most of the time is really spent setting the patient up appropriately. For babies and very young children, we have to use general anesthesia to make sure that they hold still for the radiation therapy and so the anesthesia adds a little bit of time. Radiation therapy doesn't hurt um, you can't really feel when it's happening. Um, sometimes after or uh, the radiation therapy accumulates over days, you can see a little bit of burn at the skin site. And then uh, as, as the tumor uh, is affected, so are the normal tissues around the tumor. So sometimes there can be scarring or other complications of radiation therapy that emerge as the dose goes up.